Good morning Malaysia, this is Jared Paul here and this is a wait a minute production. Today I'm at the Ai Tam where it's near the Cat Loxi and you don't get to see the huge huge looking whatchamacallit um, Buddha or is it a goddess of mercy? Uh, it's blocked by all the buildings here but never mind. So uh, I wanted to eat dim sum but the place is closed on this fine 28th of sun 28th of July 2013 so there is one stall here which has a lot of people uh, selling kuih tau teng and uh, we'll get to see what the hell it is kuih tau teng so let's go and get cracking so let's see ah there's a space here so lovely lovely jubbly and the restaurant I'm in right now is I don't know about this place, uh, I don't know whether it's famous or not, there's no name for this place. Uh, so it's just instant cook kuih tiao teng. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are so uh, we have the fish balls there and stuff the meat there and the usus or the intestines and the pork fat and the spring onions and here is the liver this one is a uh, cooked what do you call it cooked pork and eggs as well so <laughs> okay. 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 So this place is called Sing Huat and uh, yeah it's quite full. So this is a Kui Tau Teng which is quite unique to uh, Penang. I uh, don't think you'll find it anywhere else I think. So the water is boiling. And a lot of people are carrying their food away with uh, tiffin, tiffin tins. And I think one of the most important thing about this uh, meal is the presence of uh, pork lard, which is uh, crunchy and very very delicious. I wonder how long I have to wait for this meal. Hmm. So the condiments are there, uh, the red chilies and stuff with soy sauce, lard, lard, uh, whatever sauce, uh, greens like spring onions. So I think I'll end my review here. Uh, so we'll wait for part two for the verdict of the food. See you in Malaysia and bye bye. Hello there, welcome to part two. So this is the Kui Tau Teng. Uh, it is three ringgit and fifty cents for a big portion. I guess this is the big portion. And uh, you get the minced pork, the liver, and uh, I don't see the the intestines anywhere. I don't know why. Maybe they think that I can't eat the intestines. And three fish balls. So is it three ringgit or three fifty? I'm not sure. The small one is three ringgit, whereas the big one is three fifty. So is this the big portion or the small portion? The big. The big. Okay. How come it has? Uh, I don't see the intestines anywhere at all. What am I? So the cop. I ordered the coffee ice because uh, I need my caffeine. I don't know. So this one is, uh, the coffee is excellent. Uh, I think I'll give it a 5 star or 5 because the uh, coffee as in Cantonese is, I don't know whether it's Cantonese or not, but it's, when you say the coffee is good, it is like kau. Uh, kau means a lot of 
coffee in it and this is just lovely and very very good for me mm. delicious coffee so do you mind uh, uh, me filming you no yes no yes yes okay, okay what's your name Madam Chung, Madam Chung, and uh, your assistant there, right? Your assistant there. Okay, never mind. So uh, I've been, uh, what do you call, sharing a table with uh, Madam Chung here. So she might be putting in some input as well. Coffee is Hainanese. Sorry? Coffee. Coffee? Oh, ca oh this coffee is Hainanese. That's why it's so awesome. So uh, let's try the soup. I think the soup was made from uh, bones of, of the pork, uh, big uh, chicken. Chicken. Oh, it's chicken, chicken soup. No, something like chicken soup. Huh? Yeah. So, in uh, Ipoh, the Kui Tao is the most famous thing. So, I think they all come from the same factory. So, should be should be the same. The Kui Tao thing, uh, the Kui Tao, or Sao Pan is, I think it's uh, Sao Pan, right? Also the same thing, right? Same thing. Okay, the flat rice noodles or Sao Pan or or Kui Tiao. Uh, it's not as soft as uh, in Ipo, but it's, uh, it serves its purpose. It's al dante. And it tastes excellent with the soy sauce. And you get the most important thing is the pork lard or pork crackling, which uh, gives the soup more taste. Of course, uh, you shouldn't eat too much of this if you want to live long. Like Madam Chong here. So this is the liver. Normally, I don't like livers uh, because it tastes too gamey or too bloody. But here goes nothing. The liver taste is. Not so strong. It's okay. But how come I don't have the intest intestines at all? Uh, so the kwetiau with the soy sauce is great. And you have some of those uh, fried uh, garlic as well. Oh, what about the mince pork? Is it good? You gotta taste the, the pork taste. It's a very strong pork taste, so it is definitely, definitely good. And it's also not too soft. It's al dente. You can taste the cartilage and the fat and whatever goodness a pork or pig can produce. Generally speaking, uh, when it comes to fish balls, new, uh, fish balls, basically they come from the same factory or somewhere else. So rarely do you find a coffee shop that makes their own fish balls. So the fish ball is has a lot of uh, fish taste, which is good. At least there's some fish in it. Uh, because uh, normally, uh, uh, in, in times of cutting costs, the manufacturer will put more flour and other flavorings and not enough fish. So this fish ball is okay. So overall, uh, this meal, this pork, uh, this weight of them, or basically is something like a, a pork noodles. I would give it a 4 star out of 5. And uh, the coffee here is a 5 star out of 5, the Hainanese coffee. So this has been a Jericho uh, production, also known as a Wait a Minute production. So see you in Malaysia and see you at the Asam Laksa stand in Ai Itam. Or oh, in this Ai Itam is uh, directly translated as Ai is water, Itam without the with an H would be black. So black water place. So I don't know what's the origins about that. Do you know anything about it, uh, Madam Chung? 
Why is this place called Aina? Oh, that's bad. Which bird there? Oh, uh, river Hitam. Oh, there's a river here called the Black River or uh, Sungai Hitam. Okay. So, later I'll be going up the Kelok Sea. I haven't been there for 10 years, so it'll be a good adventure. See you in Malaysia. Bye-bye.